it interspecies genocide or is it Ender's Game? This is the one minute review of the movie of that same title, currently in theaters, starring a bunch of kids who you may or may not recognize from some pretty decent movies. Haley Seinfeld, I see you. Um, and of course, Harrison Ford. So I was very worried when I saw the trailer for Ender's Game. I read the book in high school and I'm a big fan. Um, I'm not going to compare the book to the movie in this, but hey, kids, read Ender's Game. Seriously. Okay, back to the movie review. Uh, I was worried because it looked like, oh, look, sci-fi action. And then I was like, oh, look, sci-fi action. Here's the deal. This movie feels a lot like an origin story um, and not in a good way because it spends an enormous amount of time giving us backstory on Ender, the very aptly named title character. Um, and then when we actually get to the stuff that seems the most important, uh, it just seems to go, like the third act of this movie just goes as fast as you can possibly imagine. Um, also, if Ender is the smartest person in the galaxy, or the smartest human around, like, why can't he figure this out, what's going on? Doesn't matter. Acting, kid acting in this movie, I had no problem with. Um, writing in this movie, I had problems with. There's, it's like, ugh. okay. Ender makes choices that don't make any sense within the movie. Within the book, they would have made sense because you could have like all kinds of like psychic drama. Like if you have like the psychological drama going on and it's in a movie, you have to show it. And I didn't see the psychological drama going on in Ender. I don't know why he made the choices he made. I don't know why certain things freaked him out and certain things didn't. I don't know why he felt good about some decisions and not good about others. And when the inevitable happens, I don't know why he reacts the way he does. I don't know why his reaction, frankly, isn't way, way bigger <laughs> than, than it is in the movie. I, there's just too many unanswered questions. Good acting, amazing visuals, characterization just really doesn't work for me in this film. So is it a great movie? No. Is it a terrible movie? No. Um, is it a movie that you could take your kids to see? I mean, like your, you know, like older kids? Totally, absolutely. There's no reason not to. Um, like bullying is a big theme and, you know, being yourself and whatever. But uh, I would not run out and see Ender's Game. <laughs>